Hello everybody, this is Kyrex with more of the Final Fantasy VI 4 character challenge. And like the description says, we're getting the band back together. There's a couple people we need to grab. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm so used to being able to cheese a bunch of shit, so I don't know where to start. We could grab Gal. There's not much point in it yet, but I could. Also, Terra's on the list. I would have to fight a boss, but he's not that big a deal. Um, actually, he might be now that Terra herself can't really use magic. You know what? Let's get an Esper. Let's drop what we're doing and grab an Esper real quick. That's a thing we can do. Wait, this is the Massa. That's not an Esper. Solitary Islands over here. Uh, also, running around somewhere is Doom Gaze. That's why I saved. Uh, I think what happens is he picks a spot in the map at random and just sits there, and you uh, run into him. It's, he's not a random encounter. You just kind of run into his ass, and uh, I don't want to. So yeah, let's get this. I can't do anything with it, but let's get it. That, that's a better name than Palador. Kind of brings to mind Quetzalcoatl which sometimes is a bird. Not in not in mythology. Quetzalcoatl's always a uh, winged serpent, but, uh, you know, Quetzalcoatl brings to mind Quetzalcoatlus. All right, we could do Realm right now, but I don't really want to just yet. I don't... There's a couple things I want to do before I get her in the party. So basically what I'm saying is, there's a bunch of shit I can do, but I don't want to. What I need are some treasures. Okay, what we're going to do... I know what I'm going to do. We're going to go get some treasures. And we may as well snag Cyan along the way. Uh, Moogle Charm's going to let me run through Zozo and Mount Zozo with impunity. So no biggie there. Um, in this desert, I think, is where I'll find the Cactar Esper. Who I'm going to have to fight to the death. He is not mine. Um... <laughs> Hopefully. It is difficult, but doable here. In a no magic run, I can do it. Uh, the key to it is all those dragoon boots that I have. So. Oh yeah, that's, that's absolutely science fucking handwriting. But, um, yeah, basically, the, the key is to be in the air before he launches his final attack. Otherwise, uh, the trick is to life three it, which I can't do because no magic run. You know, of course, he's like, oh, let me go to Zozo. Yay, Zozo. And then I just kind of follow him there. Uh, not a fan of Cyan as a character. He's, he's more manageable in this version where I can just pick his sword tech and he'll charge up on his own and do it. Uh, whereas in the Super Nintendo version, he is a literal drag down on the whole party. Like, he can get the whole party killed because you have to sit with him while he charges his techs. So, um... He, he's better here, but he's just got that stigma in my head from before. And more importantly, Rexol is a pain in the ass, and that is part of his character quest. Let's see, we're in the... I kind of want us to get to, like, into the 40s or 50s relatively soon. But for now, we are just going to do some stuff. Uh, rest assured, I will be going back and actually fighting some of these enemies off-screen. Probably. But for now, the uh, important thing is just that I get treasures. I mean, I'm going to have to grind eventually, but not yet. Not yet. Do 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 do
You know, that's it's just kind of a... It, I, I like rain. I'm a Floridian. It's a thing. It's a fucking cultural thing with us. We love the rain. You know. There we go. That's what I was looking for. An ice shield. Now, there is a button around here that I'm going to avoid as though it were a step on this and die button. Because that button opens the chest that one of the eight dragons is in. And I don't want to deal with his crap. So, we're not going to deal with his crap at all. He just shield. Nice. I'll see uh, what the mechanics of that are later. Yeah, I keep sitting here like, oh my god, when's, when am I going to run into something? And then I realize, never. That's the button. That's the, that's the fuck Kyrix button right there. Um, I will be fighting all eight of the eight dragons. But not yet. I've got other shit to do with my time. Um, yep, here we go. Yeah, I may not particularly care about the character, but I will get him. And I might do Raxol, just because, I mean, if nothing else, it uh, it's another Esper that I can't use. <laughs> the, the thing that pisses me off is, and I can't do this anyway, even if, the, uh, even if this wasn't a no magic run. But uh, there used to be, and I've heard this has been adapted out, an easy way to beat Rexel. And I'm going to get into... I'm actually going to stop right now and give you the mechanics of the Rexel fight and why it's such a pain in my ass. Rexel uh, disappears. He jumps into one of your characters at random and will only come back out if that character hits near-death status. And he'll stay out for a couple minutes long enough for you to hit him a couple times and then he'll go into another character. And he has these two enemies out called Soul Savers. And they are rigged up in such a way that if one dies, they will regenerate immediately. So that you can't kill the Soul Savers and end the fight. And like I said, the whole reason they exist, besides giving uh, Rexel something to fight with, is because otherwise if Rexel is not on the map, I win the fight by default. And that's the key. In the old SNES version, Vanish was rigged up in such a way where any spell will hit automatically. Period. Doesn't matter. And there are only a handful of enemies in the game that are immune to Vanish. And it's still the same way here, where Vanish will make any spell hit. But, and this is the important part, in the old SNES, a spell... Uh, it would bypass checks. When I say always hit, it would also always work. So enemies that are normally invulnerable to doom could be hit with doom. I mean, undead enemies will still come right back to life. So if I uh, say vanish doom a zombone, it's not going to do shit for me. But if I vanish doom, say, one of the eight dragons, yeah. And of course, in the World of Ruin, you get the Fenrir Magicite, which gives you x -Zone. It probably is something else in this translation. But uh, X-Zone is Doom on steroids. And uh, the trick is to Vanish X-Zone. But uh, the way to do it is you, you cast Vanish on both Soul Savers and then X-Zone them both, which kills them instantly, and then you win without ever having to fuck with Rexel at all. The problem is you have to do them both at the same time because if you vanish X-Zone 1 but not the other, it can't regenerate because it's gone and it locks the game. It's either that or it just regenerates immediately. I don't remember which, but either way, you, you have to hit them both at the exact same time or it doesn't work. And I think they're coded in such a way that even if I hit them for identical amounts of damage, one will die first... Than, uh, than the other. See, that's actually useful. 
the idea that uh, that he tells you, oh, by the way, we can probably find Gao on the belt. Kind of makes me wonder if in this translation, each party member tells you how to find the next. Which would actually, to an extent, justify the fact that it, it more or less railroads you into finding Cyan first. And fuck it, I may as well grab Gao as my next one, because it's not that complicated. Just take off the Moogle Charm for a minute, walk around the Velt till we find him. Most of the enemies should be pretty easy. Shit that I've done already. Oh, there's a gold hairpin. That's something that the fucking Strago's gonna equip. And I think we're done with Mount Sosa. Completely. Completely, totally, utterly. So that's uh, step one towards getting the band back together. We got Mog, we got Cyan. Even though Mog was last video. So that, that's, that's two people. Let's snag Gao now. Because why not? And I'm just gonna flat out take Mog out of the party for this one, because... Even if I equip the Moogle Charms, or de-equip the Moogle Charms so that encounters can happen again, I need a slot open or else it amounts to nothing. So, we're going to fly to the Velt, because that's where Gao is. The Velt is now its own mini-continent. That's good for him. Good for him. Um, speaking of mini-continents, this one has Doma. I grabbed all those treasures off-screen, but I have them all. Uh, but it is... There's a cave in the belt, which I I might do now. Oops, I forgot. Uh, the cave in the belt unlocks Shadow. It doesn't... Motherfucker! It doesn't recruit him. That's, that's a whole other step. But it'll at least get him out. But it's got a boss that I don't think I want to deal with just yet. Change party members. Yes! Get the brothers with me again, because why would I not? Brothers are awesome. Best characters. This playthrough would be infinitely easier, and I would be infinitely more confident if I could just keep the brothers full time. Plus, most of my recruiting work would be done already. You know? It's like, oh, get Sabbath and Edgar! Done. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are from uh, Vector Continent. Alright, that's cool. Uh, note about the Velt, it's all money, no XP. So, that's fun. Maybe. Another note about the Velt, and this is kind of fun. Um, the White Dragon, which is one of the eight dragons, is actually encounterable on the Velt. I think he's the only boss out of the dragons that can do that, which is interesting. Um, oh shit, I will not be doing all eight dragons, actually. Motherfucker, I fucked up. Uh, because I cannot do... I can't go to the white dragon. You know. That requires a magic tower that I am not allowed to interact with beyond simple shit. Uh, I will be getting the treasures in that tower, actually. I might even do them in this episode. I want to say these guys are from the sealed cave. I could be wrong. They might be from the floating continent. Either way, they're kind of toughies, but... This will not be a Gao encounter. I'm damn near sure of it. Because we're in the wrong... <sighs> What's the word? Wrong position for it? Okay, this could be a Gao encounter. An encounter. But it's not. Okay. Oh boy, this is floating continent shit. No big deal, though. Nothing I can't handle. Really wish I could have used the brothers on the continent. That would have simplified the crap out of things.
Hi, Willow. Damn it. Sorry, Loey. Sorry about that. The cat stepped on the mouse pad and minimized something she shouldn't have. And now she thinks I'm mad at her, which I'm not. Okay, baby. You're not in trouble, you just did something you shouldn't have. Up top, baby. Lola. Oh, well, she's not having it, I guess. Motherfucker! <sighs> Auto battling assholes. It's one of the perks of playing the normal game is you can't accidentally auto battle Gao. Unless something berserks you, in which case you're a special kind of bone. Not even gonna bother with these, cause you can't Okay. Okay, fuck you then. You assholes never got what was coming to you on the uh the continent. Getting it now. What I was gonna say is there's no reason in even having that battle because Gao can't show up for it. I'm wondering if he's getting any of those rages though. Okay, what's this under my foot? This is. Oh, this is Louis Foley. <sighs> so much going on today. Um, honestly, in, unless my Final Fantasy 3 run takes me a long time, and it might, because it is a blind run and I do have other shit to do, but unless it takes a super long time, Oh boy, I wish I could have had this set up in the house. Unless it takes a super long time, um, I will probably have enough time to do another run of this before it ends. Gal, your friend. Friend. I join you again. Gal, your friend. Stop blitzing me. I only have so many hit points. Alright, so we finally got Gal. That's a thing. Hi, Mog. I'm gonna talk to you because you're here. Alright, so that's... It's another character. Also, that ended the chain of characters telling me about other characters. Um... Hmm... I'm not ready to do Phoenix Cave yet, so we're not gonna bother with that. We are gonna save in case I run into Doom Gaze, because that whole thing with Gal was longer than it should have been. Because I kept leaving Auto Battle on. So, what else have we got? Um, hmm. we got this. Well, that's really nothing. We've got Narsh. There's treasures in Narsh. I have some of the shields I need. There are treasures here. <coughs> nothing going on here. That's South Figaro. Nothing going on in any of those. the auction house. It's also the opera house. That's the thing I can do. I know what to do. I actually mentioned this earlier. Let's get some rare treasures, shall we? Yeah, this is a place that normally I can't do anything with, but because I've got the Moogle charm, we're just going straight to the top. Well, not to the top. We're stopping before the top. Because that'll trigger a boss fight that I have no hope of winning in a no magic run. But there's nothing to stop me from getting these treasures. Well, except for a white dragon who I have to run around. Oh, there's the safety bit. That's going to be important. I think there's like six of these floors here. There sure are a lot of them. That's, that's what I need to check, actually. 
need to check the power of some of these shields. Okay, nothing there. Well, that doesn't do shit. Negates wind, that'll be important later. Well, that's nifty. Negates fire. Quite a few things there I can use. Whoops. Don't you turn that off. This is a big ass tower. Pretty sure warp and teleport items don't work here because of the top. Otherwise, we could get the best fucking treasure in the game and just leave without fighting the boss that guards it. I think there's another way to get that. There's no reason to get it, but I'm pretty sure there's another way to get it which is to bet an economizer. I know that if I bet the item itself, I can get an economizer. Also, what did I just pick up? Ah, a ninja sword. Cool. Oh, I'm okay with a new ninja sword. But uh, I know that I can do it the other way around. If I bet this item, I can get an economizer. I think if I bet an economizer, I can also get the item. But there's no reason to, because all it does is give you X magic and... I have exactly one character in the game that uses his MP, and X magic doesn't work with it. Oh, Force Armor, yay. That does something cool. I think it casts Shell. Yup. Well, not yup, but it, it, it has a lot of damage. That's important. So yeah, now I guess there's really not much point in fighting the eight dragons, because I can't fight the white one. I mean, I'll, I'll... I'll check off screen later to see if they have any unique items. Like, uh... Having an item that I can steal from them or that they drop. In which case I might battle some... The worst part is, like I said, the white dragon, the one that I'm not allowed to fight is one of the rages, so if I had Gao, that takes a little bit of his arsenal away from him. I, ironically, one that casts Holy Magic, which could probably be important in a pinch. This is making me want to do a full-on Let's Play, though. It's kind of silly, though, that after all this time, after the multiple playthroughs I played of this game for my channel, or versions of this game, uh, the years that I've played it on my own, on multiple platforms, that I have never done the actual game for my channel. Until now, and even then, this is a challenge run. You know, I've done fucking ROM hacks, I've done the SNES version, the PlayStation version. I've had access to, though not fucked with, the Game Boy Advance version, because I didn't like a lot of the shit that it did. Which is ironically shit that it's done in this version. That's just me being a hypocrite again. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and win me some marble shoes off screen. So I'll see y'all later. Bye bye everybody.